Claire Williams came in on October 17th with a chief complaint that her hip feels stiff. Her pain is at the anterior capsule with, on, with pain during sitting and sleeping at a 2 out of 10 and pain while walking is a 3 out of 10. Claire takes ibuprofen as needed for the pain. Claire's incision sites have completely healed. She has a normal gait and her range of motion is 9 degrees of hip flexion, 15 degrees of extension, 30 degrees of hip abduction, 15 degrees of internal rotation, and 20 degrees of external rotation. Her goals are to increase her range of motion and soft tissue flexibility, strengthen hip flexors, gluteus medius, iliopsoas, TFL, and adductors and to focus on proper muscle activation and neuromuscular re-education. Claire's to avoid resisted hip flexion and running and jumping.
push it down, back down. Feel that? So once you, um, the back is down, once you have the grass, you have to activate the core. And then what I want you to do is lift your butt off the table. And in this case, um, she's activating the core and she's um, keeping her low back down. Um, as we, um, as she gets comfortable with doing the bridges, she's going to um, increase the intensity um, six to seven weeks by adding a resistance. Apart, good, and then she's going to lift up and then come back down, up, and then do it 10 times. Come down, three sets. And then to increase the intensity, what we can do is ask her to do a single leg bridge. So I'm going to take this off. <clears throat> so with a single leg bridge, what I'm going to do is straighten this leg. seconds, then come back down. Um, while she's doing this, she's still activating the core and pushing her back down into the table. So she's going to switch legs. She will do that three times in 10 sessions. Um, we're also going to do a um, blue weight knee exercise. So the first one we're going to do is um, supine hip flexion. So what I want you to do is throw it to the table. And then I want you to bring your leg up. So you that one coming right there. And then come back down making sure that she slowly brings it down towards the table because she's not letting it pop back down. Good. And then she's doing that uh, three times, uh, three sets ten times on each leg. We're also going to do it sideline, so I'm just going to on the whole side of the And I want you to bring your leg up to about there, and then come back down. Again, you're asking her to make sure that she's controlled when she's bringing that leg down, that her hips are um, square on the table, that she's not pushing it back. You're making sure her leg does not come too far forward or too far back because you're going to come straight right in front of her. She's going to do that again three sets ten times each side. And then the last one is going to be prone on her side. And what I want you to do is just keep your leg up right there. So you're making sure that it doesn't come off the table. So right there, come back down. Again, control motion. She's not letting it flop back down. Three sets ten times each side. Um, we're also going to do some clamshells. So I want you to lie on your side. And what I'd like for you to do is bend your legs like right here. And what I want you to do is keep your feet together and bring your knee up and then back down. Right again. So you're making sure her hip isn't coming too far back when she does it. You want to make sure her hip stays square still. Three sets ten times. And then we're also going to do um, the reverse clamp shells. This time what I'd like you to do is keep your knees together, but bring this leg the other way. The clamp shells can also um, be the intensity can be increased by using the resistance band, which we will increase at the um, census of the knee work. The modalities that will be used are ice, heat, and e stem. Ice will be used after treatment, heat will be used before, and e stem will be Russian so it can re educate the muscles. 
The manual therapy that will be used is passive range of motion, stretching, hip flexor, and QL release, which can be done with a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball, and Graston, which is done over the incision site to break up any scar tissue. The expectations for phase three are to increase range of motion, strengthen with the correct form for lower extremity and pelvic alignment, and improve stability, balance, and neuromuscular reeducation.